Hello and welcome to All Things Manish. On this video, we're going to be looking at five tips for using a Joby GorillaPod hybrid tripod. Now, we have the normal tabletop type workings for these sorts of tripods and also we've got the bendy legs which wrap around anything that really you want to create stability with but these are going to be five tips which you're going to be able to utilize and give you more camera movement as well as give you some stability so tip number one is going to be about the tilt which is a camera movement that's utilized on big tripods, the full-size tripods. And what we're going to do is I'm gonna put my iPhone in the clamp. This is the mudder, which I find really useful, actually. It's a really good um, clamp, very strong, and is able to withstand phones the size of uh, seven pluses or anything like that, and even with a cover on. So the tilt. And as you can see here, we've got the normal tripod here and the back leg is lifting up. And with both hands, it's always best to use both hands, we can now use the tilt, just like on a normal size tripod. Tilt down and then of course tilt up. Takes a little bit of practice, but not much to get that nice smooth movement. Tip number two is going to be about the chest. And you think, oh, chest? What's that all about? Well, this is going to give you, I'm just shifting that around a bit, hands-free. If I just get this down here, you have to obviously have the right type of shirt or jacket on, otherwise this won't work. Once you've got it in, spread the legs out to give good even weight distribution. Then you can actually adjust your camera to how you want it, create it nice like this. There we go. Let's tighten all that up. That's it. Right, now I've used this and walked along like this. However, it was a lot of jerky movements and I feel far too much movement for my liking. But if you're wanting to record yourself writing or you're wanting to record yourself doing a drawing and doing some artwork, or maybe over the cooker and you're cooking and you want to record that as well. This gives you that option of allowing yourself with hands-free and the camera on your mobile phone or on your action cam, for example, a GoPro can be placed on there. And as you're moving about, you're actually having your hands free to do the movement and the camera stays there and records. Tip number two. Now, tip number three. Let's get this out here. Tip number three is the handle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move all these up, create a sort of handle. And we can do that. Put that little one in there like that. There we go. That's it. Now you can obviously hold it and that will give you, with this handle, that will give you some nice stability once your elbows are tucked in, nice and stiff. However, you can also use this as a way of walking with it and actually at arm's length, so your arm drops down and you can actually record perhaps walking right the way along the road or wherever you want to walk and you're recording with your arm at its full length. Now what this will do is it will give a bit more stability, almost like a steady cam type shot. It will be will create some movement, but not as much if you didn't have your arm dangling right down. Okay? That's tip number 3. Tip number 4, and we'll keep these uh, curves as we call them if you like on here. Let's get these nice and that's it. And then we'll get that up. So we've got this sort of almost star shape. There we are. We'll move that around a bit just like that. Yeah, 
okay? Now, one of the great movements, camera movements in film or television or anything like that is the tracking movement. And that basically means moving the camera from cam right to cam left as I'm doing now, which is my right, or from cam left to cam right, which is my left as well here. Don't want to get that confused, do we? So, I'm doing this tracking. However, this is a nice smooth worktop. You can't do this on any worktop. It needs to be nice and smooth. But with the fact that the Joby tripod has got these rubber rings around each of these joints, you get that friction. And that friction tends to give it a bit of a, a jerky movement. And you need to have nice smooth movement for a tracking shot. So what you can actually do is you can make use of normal everyday things like for instance this piece of tissue kitchen tissue now to help us along i have my three tortoises there we are what are they doing i really don't know put your comments down below and let me know what you think they're doing but we we'll switch the phone on the camera's on we'll get this shot set up pretty quickly there we go and we'll record this and I'll put it in the video as well and we'll just move the camera by simply dragging the tissue you can also drag it doing this way but what you've also got to remember is that you've now got this smoothness rather than these rubber these rubbers don't move on this type of paper and you can literally track along. Let's record that for later on. There we go. I've also got a, tish, uh, a cloth, nice soft cloth, which you can use as well. This is just to show a second example of what you can use to create that nice smooth movement. Again, literally just moving along and we get that nice smooth tracking. Now, when you're doing a shot like this or you're making use of a shot like this, you and perhaps you want to track something that's sort of fairly in the distance and you're not, uh, you know, you want to track that, the thing to do is to use something in the foreground. In this case, we're using these tortoises in the foreground but if I was to track something over there, then I would use perhaps something like a, a, a light or maybe the, the back of a chair or, or any object which you can put in the way to give that impression that you are moving. Because the further away the object is that you want to follow or look at in your camera, the less it's going to be tracking because it's further away. You can obviously track but it's not going to be looking as good if you don't have something in the foreground so always remember try and put something in the foreground that's tip number four we'll put them away and then these as well tip number five is going to be about stability handheld stability and i'm going to straighten these as best i can very quickly does take a little bit of time when you're trying to straighten the legs of a Joby, but uh, they are high quality, very good tripods. And uh, I use this a huge amount, not only with my mobile phone, but also with the action cam. And I've actually used this uh, dry, Joby tripod with a Canon EOS M3 as well. Right, now, as I said, we're going to now look at stability. So what we need to do is we need to bring out two legs, like so, put a handle on them, like that. And this back leg, we're going to keep straight. So we've got this sort of almost driving steering wheel type looking shape. The objective is, is that you can actually put this against your chest, hold onto the two handles, and keep your elbows tucked in nicely. That creates a nice stiff uh, position and a stable position. And now you can move that about 
and even walk with it as well. And you'll find you'll have a nice stable shot. There will be a slight bit of movement, but nothing compared to when you're holding something like this. Okay, you've got a real nice stable platform to work with. So there's some five tips that you can add to your repertoire of using the Joby tripod. If you've got any comments or you'd like to ask any questions, then do leave them down below in the comment section or go to our website www.allthingsvanish.com Also you will find in the more information area the um, Joby tripod and the Mudder Grip links for the products together with our social media pages Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. It's been good. If you feel you've enjoyed it then tick that to thumbs up also remember to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel here. The more subscribers we get, the more interest we see and the more interest that's created. If there's anything like you would like to see on this channel, then do let us know as well. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got some information and some goody tips out of this. Until the next time, remember, all things manish.